Good morning, it's the next day. So I was able to get like an hour and a half of sleep last night. So I guess it wouldn't technically be an all-nighter. I got some sleep, but I feel a little refreshed. I'm hoping my daughter wants to take a nap after school today. Um, so I went and picked up some boxes I needed from UPS this morning. Um, I got some tape, some things that I had just run out of. And I also got, went to Walmart and got these fabric markers because I'm sure you saw my last part of the video. This red thread. Where are you red thread? Over there. Every time I use a thread, I forget, I forget about it and then I use that thread. And the tension, no matter what you do, has anyone ever had like a thread that just was bad? I mean, I've had that thread, I feel like for years. So anyways, my thread, the tension, I adjusted the bobbin, I adjusted the tension, I put my more stabilizer and I was still getting some bobbin show through on this one. So I almost just completely refunded it. I still might refund her. For this one but I'm gonna try because I'm a perfectionist that bothers me all that bobbin so I'm gonna try these tulip essentials fabric markers um, it came with black blue green and red um, to try to kind of you dot gently or it'll bleed so you have to be super careful and then try to fill in some of this bobbin um, and salvage it um, so at least I can send her this. I'd rather offer her a full refund than have to do another one because then once it's out of my hands, the placement, all that sort of thing. So um, I definitely don't like stitching on the front of these. The, the material is super, super um, stretchy. The butt is perfect to stitch on. The front is not my favorite. Um, it could just be my red thread. I don't know. So. Let me know if we've had some yucky thread experiences. Today, what we're gonna do is we are just gonna, we're gonna trim all the poly mesh, we're gonna iron everything, make sure everything is perfectly packaged and ready to go. Um, they are due to ship today, so I feel so good about getting them done last night. My husband was like, why did you stay up? Why didn't you just do them when she was at school? And I'm glad I didn't because it took me from, I feel like 10? almost five hours to do um, all of those because I had to design them. I had to troubleshoot some of the bobbin issues um, with this one. And then my daughter came in a few times. So um, I'm so glad I did it last night. I'll nap this afternoon. That's just mompreneur life. Um, so let's go ahead and get all these cut, trimmed, pressed, folded in their bags, ready to ship and I'll show you that process sped up. Okay, so now we're gonna try to do the fabric marker and get everything um, ready to ship to the customers. Okay, so these say to apply color to fabric, replace cap when finished, machine wash gentle cycle after 24 hours tumble dry load. There are no heat setting required, so it won't sag, skip, or bleed. So I'm gonna try the extra fine tip because um, I have used a Sharpie before and it, Sharpies um, do bleed a little bit. So that was on like a dark, dark fabric. I had a black thread. I really needed to touch real quick on just one little spot. And typically, I mean, she probably wouldn't notice, but I see it like, that's all I see when I look at this. So I wanna make sure it looks great. And if not, I'm just gonna refund her and let her have it for free um, because it's not her fault that my bobbin was being wonky or my thread was being yucky. Um, so, anywho, let's get this done. Okay. So again, the tulip markers. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna use the extra fine tip side. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think this might work. As long as I'm careful with it, I think it's gonna look good. <sighs> All right, let's keep going and try to be super careful. Okay, 
white. So this part's gonna be tricky because it's on the white. And so I feel like some of the fabric got in it. I don't know. This isn't my favorite to embroider on the front. I like embroidering on the butt. So let's just keep going, but it is working so good on this part. It actually is working on the green, so that's good. Oh, it works on the green. So far, this is insanely amazing. Um, I just wanna make sure it doesn't sink in too much. You have to be super careful and just do, don't do the spot you're trying to do, or do just a little bit above. Okay, I've got two more letters. Let me get some coffee. Okay, my mind is blown, guys. That worked incredible okay so bobbin issues happen all the time just like when you least expect it you're you've got some lint in there it's nothing to say this machine's bad at all it's just some lint got in there something got yucky it was yucky thread so i feel like it was like maybe five bucks maybe less i'll try to link it below black especially and then i feel like they might have a whole like giant collection um such a lifesaver and now I feel confident selling this to her because it's supposed to not bleed it's made to permanently dye um, fabrics and threads I've seen in a lot of embroidery channels look at that like you can't even tell now let's get to cutting and trimming everything um, and get everything packaged look at that oh I'm so impressed all right, the day has been saved. So what I do, I'm gonna let this one dry for a second just cause I don't wanna mess up anything I just did. But I just peel this up. And you kinda like, you probably take a lint roller to it or something. Um, trim it. And then I'm gonna trim all these little threads and I'm gonna put some tender touch on the back. All right, so let's go ahead and get everything done. Okay, so I have the cellophane packages um, that they sent them in. I'm gonna try to reuse those. Sometimes um, it doesn't work out and I'll just use my own. Um, but yeah, so I've got this whole big area. This is my this is my kitchen island um, from Ikea. And we're just gonna lay everything out, trim it. Um, I'm probably gonna press it, trim all the threads, trim the stabilizer, and get working. Get everything folded up and ready to go. <music> So I'm lifting the poly mesh up. Now this is the World Widener. Um, I'm not used to leaving little stickies, so I'll probably put Tender Touch on the, the bottoms just to kind of give it a little um, more softness. So I just pull it away, trim it, and then I'm doing everything, and then I'm gonna batch, I'm gonna iron everything at once. And then I'll fold everything at once, so I'm just batching everything um, today to make my brain work better.
think I've hit a wall. It's almost five o'clock. I've got everything um, tender touched. So now I'm gonna go make my family dinner real quick. We're having chili and some gluten-free cornbread. And um, then I am going to package everything. So this is just a little look of the floor. I have to do an all of this embroidery. That was my stomach. Okay. Our ironing is done. Now it's time to fold everything, get it packaged, get it weighed, and get it shipped so mama can go to bed. First thing I always like to do is wipe down. Even if it's clean, I just wipe, wipe down and make sure there's no dirt. Sometimes I'll use cleaner, especially if I've had boxes, but I know it's pretty clean, so.
Okay, so that is it for today's work along with me vlog. I got 11 PJs done. Um, they're all going to their home and we're gonna drop them off and get them shipped to the customer. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.